It takes an extreme dedication to work for the light in abundance daily, in taking no days off, in which you work literally hours daily to rise the vibrations, in which this is why this form has access to these transmissions. Those unwilling to work hard often look for the easy way out, and then come up with little advances, with who I am as your commander Ashtar, of who we are of the angelic realms, of the galactic council, of the galactic federation of light. Inside of a new balanced nature of accepting the generosity of the new earth, there comes a cosmic receptive nature in being here to assist in more of the dawning of awakening. Through the inception of a new leadership role for ascension comes with an existence beyond all mocking realities of these transmissions by the lower ego self, into the generosity of a new earth. This takes you on a path of accepting your internal resonance with the rising in vibrations, which only connects you through a divine portal of accepting your true self. Inside of your higher self comes a deeper advancement into the realms of galactic harmonization, which builds you beyond all destructive pathways into cosmic unity. This is not about judgments, this is not about expectations, as there are no expectations for any of you to graduate beyond duality, as this is extremely difficult to accomplish. In seeing this more clearly, you are each able to witness your own work in the miraculousness of a new leaping beyond the norm of death and reincarnation on the surface of Earth. This planet has long seen the destructive pathways of the lower ego self, while your balanced essence connects you more with the generosity of a higher vibration. From the depths of restoring the fabric of your space travel comes your interconnected nature, in being here to open up new advances in every area of your life. It is important to notice the deep-seated clarity which comes with your adaptation, in seeing that many realities are able to collapse in your world while in duality. Loved ones are able to die around you, you are able to get into a serious injury of your body, and come close to dying, and still need to pay for all of your bills, and work. This life in duality is not fair, and there are those that are going to in fact get cancer and die, all at the hands of the cabal in which there is already a cure for cancer. Cancer was a genetically altered disease originally that was spread around by draconians, including the causes of these often which stems from popularized products, which often harm the body. Death is inevitable for those who are in a lower vibration, and that even includes those light workers who are not taking their ascension process seriously so that they are able to have more time to create a higher vibration. Those of you that are completely dedicated to your light service, including climbing more of the ascension ladder are still noticing many difficulties in your life while on this world. It is not easy for you just in having the choice of ascension, in choosing this pathway, over all of the paths of reincarnation, in which the more difficult it becomes the more you see how duality truly works. Inside of a new expansion in your freedom to notice the clear reality of joy to replace all of the sorrow you have seen, often the lower ego self creates non-stop hell on earth. You notice this, as the lower ego self says, I cannot take this anymore. I am going to make every one of you suffer for all of the days I felt alone, for everyone that did not take me seriously. This often happens among many humans, who secretly live in the delusional world of separation from Source, instead of uniting in a cosmic connection in being Source. From the depths of witnessing your powerfulness inside of you, there is no quitting of the inner vibrancy of a new life, where an advancement into ascended realities remains here and now. This life is not about looking for everything to be perfect. As that is not how duality works, as duality is not designed to be perfect, as war, chaos, arguments, violence, judgments is not a perfect reality. Sure, there are many humans, including light workers living in denial of not living on a world full of many realities that are not perfect in nature, in which you notice the reality of unity exists as now. 
these communications are directly talking to your soul more, to your being, in the immediate vibrancy of a higher vibration, where you are more free in the glowing nature of a new feeling of healing. All from the depths of more of your conscious awareness comes your generating of a pure restoration in every part of your life, where you are able to experience the hell of duality, and still rise more daily. In making no errors of consciousness about this, as you witness more of the drama that surfaces from duality, then you are able to notice that you are not the outer destruction around you. This is where your own strength comes in to not physically harm humans, and those sentient life forms around you, while this upholds your light quotient more in fullness. It is not meant to be easy to accomplish this, with often those of you that have gone through the most hell, over many lifetimes having the most access to higher realms. Our galactic fleet are not seeing each of you only in this lifetime but all of your lifetimes, while this comes with your maturity, as sure a human will often see another as only one age, and see that as a limitation. Often those who are light workers in their twenties and thirties carry over fifty lifetimes of human experience, while as an extraterrestrial, in which the golden leaping in awareness combines higher realities. Through clearing out all of the pathways of division from your life, then there is a strengthening of the energy system in your own existence, where all of the importance of your true self remains in this moment. As you notice, all of these transmissions are not made to create more fear in you, no, but to open up new energy vortexes beyond all of the destruction that has been known on the surface of Earth. You are not able to force another to know higher dimensions, as this comes with seeing that your own detaching from trying to force ascension, for a more smooth vibration of light. Often the lower ego self tries to pick apart these transmissions, looking for mental only meanings, instead of embracing the full interaction in divine communication. We stand in more respectful paths, we are the angelic realms, we are the galactic federation of light.